all right i've got the other videos uh that i'm going to post the update videos and stuff like that and questions that people have asked me and i said i'll make them a video you're going to catch me in bed a lot the reason why is when i wake up i just make the video because i'm home so i can get myself back to work you know i'm just doing everything i can to do that um i've heard this said so this video is going to be posted before any of them i've heard people say don't use your condition to your advantage now i can i can get that because i've always fought to be treated as an equal now here's where the catch-22 comes in if you think having down syndrome any kind of cerebral palsy um a mild retardation anything if you think those people are using it to their advantage or even uh, a person that um, let's say they broke their arm and it can no longer be repaired or a stroke uh, you're dumb as shit I'm sorry I've got to say it excuse my French but you're dumb as shit having this condition cerebral palsy on top of a horrific accident is not an advantage the way I walk is, is not an advantage, especially in a day's age with COVID-19. Anybody physically impaired with any condition is more susceptible to dying quicker than a person that could actually walk off their cold, as they say. Okay, because they we, we suffer from several of them. I say we, but several of us suffer from breathing problems, stuff like that. Um, you just want to get better, but you're, you know, it's just the way it is. It's the, the card you're dealt. So if you think in today's age you're using your condition or that they're using their condition to their advantage, you're wrong. I don't care if you're a lawyer, judge, a cop, or a pastor. You couldn't be more wrong in every way. I don't give a crap who you are. It's not an advantage. A mortgage company, a bank loan all those people don't care that you have a condition they take your home in a heartbeat we've seen them take it from a 85 year old man that's been living there for 40 years so don't don't say that to people and i've had it said to me and i laugh and giggle and go really i went out and got my own a uh, job i went out and got my own vehicle okay come on I mean, I find it to be wrong, and I've heard it said to other people, and I said, you know what, I'm going to make a video on this because this is wrong. You can't use your condition in today's age. Get the hell out of here. You guys are dumb. I just mentioned some of the biggest money movers out there that want to take your money, and they don't care if you have a condition, okay? Like I said, I don't care if you're a prominent person in the community. I can say what I want because I have the money and I feel that way. Hey, kiss my ass. I'm not like every other handicapped person going, oh, the world's unfair to me. Oh, I don't have this and I don't have that. No, I went out. I got a job. I got a vehicle. I did what I was going to do. And a lot of these people are productive parts of society. Okay? And that's just the way it is. For the ones that can't, you know, they're not able to, they're still, their money goes right back into the taxes, all right? My issue is the ones that spend money on booze and cigarettes and alcohol, like r right here in my very community, in my very community, you know my struggle to get the tub taken out, but in my very community, there are able-bodied people that go to work and they only pay 50 bucks in rent, 60 bucks in rent. One lady up to two years ago was only paying $6 in rent, which means that she can't afford her electric, which means that the government is actually paying that. Yet my electric just just went up. Everybody's rent just went up. My rent just went up. And I haven't even been into work. 